Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to welcome you to the Watcher's Report. Tonight, I'm going to recite a new piece for you, something I think is real prevalent to the situation that's taking place in the world today, even within our own country. It's something we've all heard about, but few of us ever give it a second thought. But what if? The name of the piece is called Mind Over Matter. Enjoy. What is it that defines reality for you? How do you determine the real from the fantasy, separate the what is from the dream? Is it a matter of perception, the ability to see through the veil of deceptions that merge to confuse the mind? Has what you've been taught become the jail cell? that has created a perpetual existing condition that disallows you from moving beyond normal boundaries. Is it astonishing to me the limits we allow ourselves to place on the self? Yet, in the times of discontent, are we always searching outwardly for help that comfort may be found? For here is a war that the true seeker must confront, the battle for mental freedom that if one is to truly see, it must be for mind over matter. The ability of the inner soul to control that which was taught to be uncontrollable, where what is seen as miracles become the everyday norm. Imagine the ability to avert a raging thunderstorm in the midst of freezing cold with a thought cause temperatures to suddenly warm. While all are engulfed in the middle of chaos and turmoil, with a slight gesture of the hand cause violent seas to calm. The first step of any action is thought. One must plant the seed before any tree can grow. So prevalent is this wisdom that it is said, what you reap shall be what you sow. The key is not what you think, believe, have faith in, or hope for, but what you know. Like having confidence that when the waters run, rivers and streams all around the world will also flow. The thought to move must pre-exist before the vessel can go. But let me ask, who controls the vehicle? Is it the ego or the soul? Mind over matter. Take a look at natural disasters. Are they the result of accumulated emotional stress? If thought waves are energy, how does hostility manifest? Does our negative aspects determine what comes next? Seems more of us are absolutely content, rather be quick to cause and curse than someone else to lovingly bless. Even if destruction of their own world is what they get, what if covered in the blood refers to a positive state of mind? And this same frame of mind could even slow down time. What then? But sadly, we live in a world full of sin and crime where the conduct of choice for most seems to be deceit, trickery, and lies. And this nullifies evolutionary possibilities where the animal state remains the destiny of man. And it's sad to say this you don't understand. That this be the point of the Illuminati's diabolical plan. With each passing day does our reality expand. Where things once thought impossible becomes yesterday's news. I'm a vessel of the Godhead that these words ring true. You either part of the mind or matter to be used. Now, think about the mindset of the people where all those natural tragic events have taken place. Mm -hmm. Historically, they have all had mass amounts of negative mental stress and drama taking place. Historically. If you found out today that your negative thoughts were the cause of these events, what would you change? Today, CNN reported Alabama lost 238 lives due to recent tornadoes. 
31 of the state's 67 counties were affected as of 4 2011 hmm. Something to think about. Your thoughts control it all. Wow. <laughs> Peace.